at to BAC Sports, also the Millers down in Arizona. Hey, we dropped the puck. We're officially underway here on night number two of the Governor's Cup Series here. As the Nanooks will take it back into their own defensive zone, kept in by uh, Gilson at the right point position, shovels left side now to Finley as they keep it alive to the right side of the goaltender, Pierce Charlson. Nanooks now will clear it on their own zone. They'll get up to Anton Rupsoff. He'll flip it in. They'll chase it down toward the corner. Down there is uh, number 24, Harrison Israels, back behind the net. He and Rupsoff try to kick it loose. We got four or five players. Nanooks kick it loose. They try to wrap it around the net there. Still loose out there in front of the cage. Finally picked up at the Seawolves. They'll take it down to the side wall and skate back behind the net. Seawolves with it, Omquist. Ben Omquist taken hard to the wall there by A.J. McCauley. Harrison Israel's down there, too. Back left point position. They'll swing it right side now for Gilson. Shovels it on net there. Charleston stirs it to the corner. All right, Nanix are shorthanded now out of the media timeout. Two-minute minor penalty for tripping. Shorthanded chance for Alaska. An opportunity is Sorensen got it back over to Israel's. Xavier Jean-Louis along the boards, takes a couple of slaps at it. Seawolves keep it in. Look out, they get an opportunity from a tough angle. Blocker save there to the side of the net there by Charleston. That's a very physical football team. I'm, I'm wearing my sunglasses at night, and I'm not really a, a member of that Michigan uh, coaching staff. There's a quick shot there, and a save made by the goaltender Whale. Risk is still out there, back out top for Bergmanis. He'll oh. shovel it to the side there. Oh, just high over the glove hand there of Jared Whale. What a shot by Rupsov there. Kept in nicely there by Risk and got it back out to Bergmanis. A bouncing puck out front there. Finally cleared by UAA. Gaffney's got it. He'll get it back to Peyton Matsui. Matsui getting it back now to Rupsov. They get it back out. Bouncing puck to the side of the goal there. Whale can't freeze it. Whale finally does. And then they'll complete the uh, six-game series with a couple of solo Saturday contests in each other's team's barns. Play now comes back toward the point position. Nanix can't keep it on side. Seawolves bring it up and bring it down in the form of Matt Allen. And he'll take it back again toward the point position. Dawson Berneski shoots it back behind the goal. Here's Johnny Sorensen with a backhand shot. Goes just wide. Try to work it out there and make things interesting for Jared Whale. Bamber shoots it over the side now. Getting it for Gunnar Van Dam. They'll dump it out center ice. Nanix pick it up. Under six to go in the first period of play. Here comes... An opportunity now for Xavier Jean-Louis. Back for Sorensen. He rifles a shot from back at that point there, but a left-hand glove save. Nanix do a good job to try to keep it in, but then it's brought back up and down the ice. Here comes Omquist coming in from a tough angle, looking for a trailer right out front. Nanix will take it away, but not able to quite clear, clear it out there right now. Continue to work hard. They hope to get that first goal. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, like I said, just keep putting the puck on the net, and you know, eventually it's going to go in here. Here's an opportunity now, skating down the ice. They shoot and they score. Coming down the ice is Aiden Weston. And they were very opportunistic, and they'll get the first goal of the hockey game tonight. So Aiden Weston scores at 15.04 to give the Seawolves an early one to nothing lead. Yeah, I don't think so. Not the way the Nanooks are playing. I mean, they're getting the puck on the net. And uh, it's Boy, where did to he see their receiver. Gilson back out top. Power play continues for UAA. Back toward the point position. Gilson with a shot there and holding his ground there was Pierce Charlson. Kept alive by the Seawolves. Back out top, left point. They'll uh, work in. They'll pinch in. Hey, we're ready to go. Facing up at center ice here. On quest to take the draw now against Harrison Israels. 1-0 UAA. Both teams with eight shots on goal in that first period. Aiden Weston with the lone goal in the first. All Wait. right, power play chance now, number four for UAA. They shovel that shot out front. Here's an opportunity. Quick shot. That hit the pipe. That hit the pipe off the stick of number 17 out there, Gunnar Van Dam. Quickly up the ice comes Riley Thompson. Thompson skates with it from a tough angle, shoots it wide. Along the boards, Nanix bring it back up. And here's a nice move. They get a two-on-one shorthanded chance. Here comes a Bruneski oh. out front. Oh, shot. He scores. oh my God, what a move. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Bruneski feeds it over to his teammate there. The shorthanded opportunity. It's the fourth shorthanded drive for the Nanooks. Uh, Kate Nielsen. What a backhand shot taking that from his teammate Bruneski. So the Nanooks tying up with a shorthanded goal. 12.43 to go. Second period of play. We're deadlocked at a goal apiece. Bruneski in a battle now with Tisdale. That puck squirts over to the side wall. Nanix are bumping out to center ice. And here they come quickly now. Kofi dish it off. 
Coming in from the top angle, they shoot, and they score! As Anix will take a 2-1 to one lead. What a tough it angle there. That surprised Whale. I think Whale figures he thought he should have stopped it. And he makes it 2-1 on Nanox here in the second. Man, what a shot there. Brineski had a heck of a shot for TJ Lloyd. Lloyd side circle to the corner to Anton Rupsov. Gets it back over toward Brady Wrist. They shovel out front. They shoot the score. Power play goal. Alaska will take a 3-1 lead. Looks like it's going to be Harrison Israel who gets credit for goal number three in the second power, the, well, power play goal to go with a shorthander and even strength go. With the power play tally for number 24, the guy that's leading the Nanox. Chase Dubois getting it now for Peyton Matsui. Here's Johnny Sorensen right out front. Oh, the goaltender again holding his ground. Sorensen with a couple of great scoring chances. Lloyd took it away, but able to clear it up and clear it down. So a good job by the Nanooks. Goaltender's got to play it there for UAA as Whale will shoot it. Here's a takeaway by the Nanooks. They've got a wide open net there. And Braden Brady with a couple of shots and scores. Oh, the Seawolves got sloppy back in their own net. They got lucky once, but a second time it's tapped in by Braden Bernie to make it a 4-1 hockey game with just 54 seconds to go, period number two. Let's watch the replay, Mike. Let's watch the replay. Bernie missed the first opportunity, but then got the second chance there with a backhand and a wraparound. Shortly, too. And of course, Will Hambly hoping to get a chance to play, too. All right, we drop the puck here at center ice. Third period action officially underway. Alaska leading by a score of 4-1. 4-1 Nanooks working on their fourth power play of the afternoon, the evening, we should say. Back around the net, back out top to Arbol's Bergmanis. Bergmanis gets it back over to the side circle. A battle out front, a shot, a score! As Nanooks will get goal number five. Another power play tally, right? Yep, power play. Through the five hole on Lammer there. It's nothing he could do. And it was like almost slow-mo with him watching it go into the net. At player being uh, Riley Thompson. All right, power play continues now. Five against what? Four right now as the first penalty expired to Brineski and AJ McCauley still in the box. Now they will come down and they will score. So the Seawolves do get the power play goal and close now to within five to two. Have closed back within five to two. Yeah, are they? Hegelson's going to get credit for the goal. They shoot at far side. Boy, the camera angles have changed once again, Mike. Quick shot from the point there through a screen there, and Charleston comes up with a big, big stop. Goaltender Charleston holds his ground. Ennis will get to the puck first, but can't quite clear it out. Seawolves pick it back up now to the point now for Gilson. He rifles it wide of the Nanook. Now oh, they score! So that took a weird bounce out there, and guess what? It's a 5-3 hockey game as that one took kind of an interesting bounce and credit the goal to the defenseman William Gilson and just like that 3 10 26 time of the goal here in period number three that yeah. one took a weird bounce out there Mike by Pierce Charlson Nanix bring it back up on the right wing wall with it is Brady risk he'll dish it off working out front there's Harrison Israels with a shot rebound chance there Lamru holds his ground there here on the replay Here's a replay here Oh, man. What a yeah, save. I got kissed off that uh, right go post. It's uh, deflected by the Nenix, but not quite out. Gilson keeps it alive. Gilson back to Van Dam. Back to Gilson. One-time shot by Omquist. Gobbled up there by the Nenix netminer. Let's see here. It's a goal. The Seawolves have closed within five to four. The referee says it is a goal. And just like that, an, an extra attacker goal has pulled the Seawolves back within five, four with 2.21 to go. And it's going to be number 10, Riley Thompson with the goal. Zone and, you know, they were just, looked like they were just trying to skate this one out. And Anchorage had uh, had other things in mind. Gilson right point, swings it left side now. He'll get it back himself. Gilson, Gilson gets it back to Omquist. Omquist in that near circle. Traffic out front, gobbled up there by the goaltender, trying to hold on, and he does. Pierce Charlson. Hegelson. Gilson and Thompson. Final seconds are ticking down. Seawolves can't keep it on time. This will go down the ice, and the Nanooks will hold on for a 5-4 victory. But boy, 
It got interesting down the stretch here, Mike, as uh, I guess it doesn't matter. They get the win 5-4.